Hey, Zach here at uh, the Dietrich Roasting Testing Center. And uh, I actually want to show you around an IR-12 with full automation. Right up here you can see, this is your funnel. This is where you put your green beans in. And then right below that is your stainless steel hopper. This is the hand polished at Dietrich Roasters here. And then here's your control arm. And they'll actually drop the beans into your drum. And if you look right here, here's a great little sensor. And when you move this arm up, it triggers your automation and it lets you know that the roast is gonna start. And then right below that, you have your LED light, which is great if you're in a low light, maybe coffee shop or a roasting facility. So that way you can actually see your trier handle when you pull out your samples and see how your roast is doing. And right next to it is our front baron. And which is great about this is actually, we have this little connection right up here. And this is where you connect your grease gun and you can keep up on your, on your, uh, on your maintenance on your roaster. And then if you look right over here, here's a control arm for your front door. Now that's your manual, but if you look over here, this little box actually holds the motor for the automation and uh, controls. I'll show you right here. You just push the button on the screen for your drum door, triggers the motor and it'll open the front door. Now this is full automation, so you know at the end of the roast, it'll automatically do that for you. And then if you look below here, here's your cooling bin, and you actually have your agitator right here. Now this pops off, and with a couple of screws, you can actually take out your entire cooling bin and clean it, which is uh, wonderful to keep up with your maintenance too. And right over here, you have your slide gate, so you can actually drop your beans into whatever container when you're done roasting. Now, if we walk around here, as I showed earlier, this is the screen for your automation. Comes with the roaster when you buy the automation package. And it has everything you need on the screen. This is in the manual mode right now. And you can see your fuel, you can see your roast air, and you can see uh, your finishing temp, your bean temp. Now, this roaster is in our testing facility and it's not uh, completely set up right now. We're, we're done testing it. So, uh, you know, things may look a little bit different for you when you have it ready to go. And then uh, you have your charge temp up here and your roast time. And of course, there's a menu with many other features. Now, here we are on the side of your roaster. And this actual whole box is only for the automation. So this isn't something you can add on later. It's really at time of purchase. You have to decide manual or auto because of everything and how we build it or it's completely different. So if you look on the side here, here's your emergency stop. And then right at the bottom here, we have our uh, end roast cycle. Now this just exactly as it says, ends your roast if you need to before uh, the automation ends it or for any other reason. Now, and then you have your thermal couple package down here. So this is your USB plug. So that will connect to any computer or tablet that you're using for your data logging. Now, if I open up the door here, you can see all your controls here. At the bottom here, we have our power supplies. Give power to everything in your roaster. You move up here, you have your PLC. And then these are your analog controllers. So this one controls your fuel, and then this one controls your power. And if you move up here, you actually have your uh, relays for your air, door, drum, blower, agitator. And then right next to it, you have your breakers for the same thing and also your control for your actual monitor. And this one has an attached cyclone. So normally right here, you would see your motor for your blower, but it's actually on your cyclone. So in here you have a, a controller for your automation and then just a little uh, extra space. And of course, like all of our Dietrich roasters, easy access doors. Now these doors get you right under the drum and you can actually see right here is your burners. So you can get it under there for easy access to cleaning. And of course the doors are on both sides. Now, right up here, as always, you have your manometer. Now you can change your gas on your, con on your actual screen, but you can see the exact changes right up here. If you follow me around, here's the attached cyclone. Now that motor that's taken out, now it's put up right up here and then it's used to actually pull all the air through and then into the cyclone here and then it falls down and then all your chaff collects into this container. 
This is easy to remove. And then of course it's on a 12, so this is a smaller version. You can easily do this by yourself. Clean out all your chaff collection. So if you want to follow me up here, this is actually where your ducting will connect. Normally, it's actually down here at the bottom, but since we have the attached cyclone, your ducting is going to be right up here. And this is an eight inch connection. What's great about it being attached to the actual roaster is it definitely saves space. So if you're trying to get a tight fit into your coffee uh, shop and you need a cyclone because maybe you're going to have an afterburner, it's great that this could be attached and kind of save a little bit of space for you. And now right here you have another access door and this will actually help for cleaning and maintenance. So here we are on the other side of the roaster and just like on the other side we have an access door here for easy cleaning under the drum, get access to your burners. And then right below here, and normally your blower motor would be coming through here and then you have your flywheel. And uh, this is really just kind of like an air housing area. And if you remove these two screws down here, you can actually pop out this entire bracket and they can get more in there for deep cleaning. Well, let me show you where your chaff collects. Now this door up here will actually will be where your chaff collects the most. So it's going to collect down here and as the air moves through. And then of course you can get right under your uh, cooling bin here so you can get even more deep cleaning there.